Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back Valerie to Ohio. We got home yesterday uh, at like 10 in the morning on a Sunday. Little man playing with his toys. I'm serious this morning. I did not want to get out of bed. It's like the most perfect rainy cloudy day and you could hear the rain falling pitter pattering on the roof and the thought of it being a Monday and that I have to get up and do a bunch of stuff was horrifying to me. I don't feel like doing anything today, not one little thing, but unfortunately I have a to-do list literally a mile long. I'm not kidding you, every room in my house is a wreck. This is my kitchen right now. Well, this is the dining room and the kitchen is, this is the situation. It pretty much is like this in every room of my house. Whoa, okay. When I got home, it was a Sunday. I really just wanted to rest. We ended up driving through. We left Saturday night, drove all night. Mateo did amazing. Like he slept seven hours solid overnight. It was great. Um, but then when we got home, we just kind of shoved everything on the table, on the bar, and we were like, it's Sunday, we want to rest. And so now, guess what? It's all left for me to do on today. <laughs> and I did unpack some stuff, like the necessities that we needed last night and things like that. But the majority of it needs to be done today. And the stuff on my, like my to-do list is not, okay, it's not a mile long, but everything on the to-do list is like things that take a long time. And I'm just looking out front and we literally, no joke, we have a small pond of water in our grass. Like, look at that. That's insane. But I am ready to just get this stuff started because I wanna try to get as much done today as I can so I can um, hopefully catch up on a little bit of sleep later on. <laughs> Driving all night is no joke, but granted I did get more sleep than what Chip did. So there's that. What do you think about being home? He's not too sure because he's gotta get used to all these new surroundings all over again. I think what I'm gonna work on first today is tackling the kitchen and the dining room. It's pretty dark and cloudy today, so we might have to deal with some funky yellow kitchen lighting, so we'll just have to deal with it, but I'm gonna tackle this stuff first and probably leave the clothes and things to last, but I also am going to throw in some laundry quick. Okay, I just put my laundry in, put Mateo down for a nap, so he's sleeping. I'm gonna work on this and we're gonna see what we can tackle. And so goes the life of a mom. I got the kitchen um, pretty much cleaned up and unpacked. And I have laundry in the washer and I was going in to get Mateo's clothes in here. He was waking up and so I'm feeding him a little bit early. So I have to take a break here to feed the baby but that's just how it is when you have work to do and you have a baby. You just have to take more breaks and I don't know if I'm gonna get everything done today. I'll probably just have to finish it tomorrow. And I'm kind of debating honestly about getting groceries today that feels a little bit big to me because this is the first day back and I'm trying to unpack and honestly I have some, I can make grilled cheese and tomato soup for supper or something like that because I just, yeah, I think I need to just stay at home today and try to get Mateo on a little bit of a schedule, try to just get him used to being at home again. It's kind of a challenge. So that's the task today. I'm not sure if groceries are gonna get done or not. down to our creepy basement and look how much water is on the floor from the rain. Sage's pen and stuff and that got all soaked and it's really disgusting but. I have towels in my dryer from before we left. They've been sitting in here for two months. That's how bad I am at doing laundry.
trying to vlog with my massive tripod, which is not going so well. But look in this box. All of that stuff is a whole bunch of things that Mateo grew out of while we were gone, and it's very sad. And I wanted to wait to unpack the clothes so I did laundry, so I could just put it all away at one time. But honestly, Mateo's clothes is what I'm least looking forward to putting away because I have to rotate a lot of his stuff and make sure I have things in that he can wear and I have to put away his things that he's outgrown and it's just gonna be a huge job. And I also have to try to do it in between his naps because I need to be in his room. So honestly, I probably won't even get it done until after his next nap just because of all the other things that I've been running around and doing. Maybe I should go check my P.O. box right now and I do need some milk so maybe I'll run to Dollar General and the P.O. box and see, we'll go from there. Okay, I'm having the absolute worst and hardest time figuring out stuff with my P.O. box. And just our home address stuff in general because of getting our mail forwarded. So apparently it was saying there's a guy walking by and he's looking and it's very awkward to video yourself while there's somebody around. Anyway, it's just been a huge mess. Apparently I have mail that says it was delivered and it's not here so it might be on its way to Florida. And the problem is it's a bridesmaid's dress and so I really don't know when I'm going to get it. And so I have to figure that stuff out. And also, I got this paper that is saying my rent was past due for my P.O. box and they charged me several fines because of it. So now I have this huge bill that I have to pay even though I put it, I set it up for automatic payments online. So I had to figure that stuff out because I feel like I think I'm getting charged and I'm not supposed to be and I absolutely detest with a passion going to the post offices. It's one of my least favorite places to go in the whole world. It's people in there, I find them that they're not very helpful. They don't really know what, how to answer my questions and I leave there feeling more confused than when I went in. And yeah, I just needed to tell you guys that's what's going on. If there is one thing that living in a tiny camper has showed me is that I don't need near as much stuff as what I think I say as I open this box that I just ordered. <laughs> this is the one thing that actually did arrive in my P.O. box. I'm not sure why this and not the other stuff. Also, putting away and unpacking all this stuff, I'm realizing how much clutter I have. I have so much stuff in my kitchen that I don't use. I have so many things in closets that I don't use. And I'm pretty sure I decided I mean, I know I decided. I'm gonna do a video on decluttering. I'm gonna try to declutter my whole kitchen. It's, it's gonna be a process, but I'm going to probably put out a video like that sometime in the future and just declutter. I just, I got home and after living in a camper of not having a lot of stuff, I get home and all of a sudden I can feel it. My mind just feels so cluttered and it's because I have so much stuff that I don't need. I wanna show you guys this. I got this. I went and ordered a gift for somebody on Hosanna Revival and while I was on there I saw that their puzzles were on sale so I decided to get me one. So of course I had to grab a puzzle because your girl loves puzzles. I put together one, two, three puzzles this winter and this is about to be my fourth. This is from Hosanna Revival. It's a beautiful floral puzzle and in the middle it has a verse that says the grass withers and the flowers fade but the wonderful but the word of God endures forever. It's Isaiah 4, 40 verse six. And it's this gorgeous floral um, puzzle. It's a thousand piece, which is honestly my favorite kind. I like the 500 piece too, but I really love the thousand piece. But I love Hosanna Revival. This is not sponsored or anything like that, but my Bible is from them. I have the five year prayer journal from them and I love every single thing that I get from them. So you should definitely check them out. Okay, we have moved on to the bedroom. I'm trying not to talk too loud because Mateo is in the next room sleeping, but this is the state of my bed right now. Um, and just my room. Here's all the things I need to unpack. So it should be fun. I don't really feel like doing any of it, any of it but I actually turned on some YouTube. I'm watching Sarah Therese. She's one of my favorites to watch on YouTube. So I'm gonna watch some of that, make the bed, and put away all these clothes.
Mateo made like a lot of changes one of them being that he has now started to play with toys I got home and I remembered that I actually have this thing sitting in the closet something for him to sit in that he can play with toys in it and I just now remembered that I had it it was a gift from my grandma or my aunt one of them and I'm gonna put that together and I want to see what he does with it when he gets up from his nap I can't wait to see if he'll like play with it or what he does <laughs> I feel like he might be a little bit small because this is pretty deep, but I'm gonna see what he'll do with it um, I'm gonna get him up right now and feed him and then after he eats I'm gonna unpack all of his clothes and do that I've been saving that one till last and then I think after I've done that Everything is unpacked and we can check it off the list He doesn't see it. It's a very awkward angle, but I'm here in Mateo's room and I'm getting ready to unpack for him. I'm gonna set him in this thing and see what he does. Zoom in a little bit and you guys can see for yourselves. All right, mister. Do you wanna try this thing and see if you like it? What do you think of that? Look here, Mateo. You're too young, too young to be doing this. How is he this old? I don't know how. Wow, I look very pale on this shot. I don't know how he's already big enough to fit in something like that, but it makes me very sad, but also very happy because it's so fun when he gets bigger and grows up, but. All right, now I'm gonna be doing the dreaded task and unpacking all of his stuff. I can't decide if this is discouraging or encouraging. Look at the state of his room right now. There is just, let me move. That needs to be unpacked, and these need to all be switched out, out of the drawers and stuff like that. Little man is now laying down because he was getting a little bit tired of holding his head up. I just, I wish I could just snap my fingers and this would be done like Mary Poppins. Why isn't it working? Did I get everything done in Mateo's room that I wanted? No. He is already down for his next nap, and I don't want to work in there while he's sleeping. But the reason I stopped, because look who's here. Sage! Say hello! <laughs> she was all excited to be home. Her hair looks really good right now. Come here! Look!
Okay, it's a whole different day. The day totally got away from me and yeah, but I wanted to show you what I did here in the nursery. I put all of the clothes that Mateo has outgrown in a tub in the closet, so that's all taken care of and all the clothes that he's in right now and that he will be in are in his chest of drawers, but I'll just show you what I did really quick. So here is this in the top drawer. He's got sweater shirts, he's got other shirts here. Here are pants, and up there's also some pants. Here he has onesies and sleepers. So that's that organization. And then down here is just a couple other things that are a little bit bigger, but that he still is kind of in. So a bunch of onesies and rompers down here and overalls and stuff like that. I also went through this bottom drawer. This is all clothes that he, like, one year or so, and shoes, some blankets and baby carriers and stuff like that. I went through all his blankets and got rid of a couple because I could not even fit everything in this drawer. So, that was that. And here we have Little Man playing on the floor and Sage keeping an eye over him. She does so good with him. Like, I can leave him laying on the floor and she doesn't even mess with him. She just plays with her toys, she, I, I don't know, she just does really good with him, which I'm very pleased about. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, just getting back, unpacking, doing the things like that. I'm gonna call it a wrap here. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe down below. I would love if you would subscribe. And if you have any content ideas you'd like to see from me in the future, just put it down in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Sorry this video came out a little bit later than usual, but it is what it is. Sometimes you just can't get everything done. But I will see you guys very soon in my next video on Wednesday. Bye.